top of the afternoon, mad lads. I've spent the entire day performing physical labor, which is just about the last way I want to spend a Saturday, but I got a pretty sick looking entertainment center out of it and a giant ass CRT TV, so that's something. Uh, my arms are jelly, my feet are mush, and I'm about ready to fall down and die, but I remembered I gotta do one of these episodes and we got Scoon today. So, yeah, let's play some Scoon. I have only a fleeting idea of what this game is about, and the premise seems kind of neat. It is a shooter. Where you, uh, you play as a submarine. And you bomb stuff and shoot stuff. Yeah, that's right, we just shot a fish. Good start, right? Now. Okay, that was a kind of elongated intro. Obviously. You all saw it, you know. How long it took. There we go, we got wherever that is. As you can tell, we have torpedoes to just fly straight and little bombs going a downwards arc. Oh, that, we, we, we got killed by a crab. So be it. What is the point of Schoon? We gotta save people. Drop them off at a place. You'll see what I mean once we find somebody to save. For now, we're just, you know, just having a nice little uh, endearing shoot fest. The crabs, oh my gosh. The crabs and the other torpedoes are giving me a rough time of it, though. Okay, it's gonna, it's, it's gonna probably take me a few runs to, you know, completely get what's going on here. First we gotta find where our friendos are being held captive. And then, you know, we have to go through the actual process of saving them. Hey, there's a few. But I don't know I don't know how to save them and I'm pretty sure that's that's game over. Yes it is. Okay, that's 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 okay. That's fine. We get we get a long time to figure this junk out. Left two. I believe that means we have to rescue two boys. We can touch the ground without being completely ruined. So that's that's all well and good. Boy. I can feel the fatigue. Like I'm sore sitting down. That's a that's a terrible place to be. Oh there we go. We definitely saved some boys. I think that we need to actually uh, load up on more of them before the rescue craft will come. There we go, there we go. We got eight boys. <laughs> this is what I'm gonna call them, I don't know. Maybe some of them are women, it's possible. As Athena and Metroid, two very similar games in terms of quality have proven, women in video games is fine. Ah, that's right, you also have to pick up fuel, but I don't remember how to generate fuel. So if we run out of fuel, it's all gonna be for naught. We just died normally instead, which, you know, that's, that's one way to do it. We lost all of the boys. Oh, no, he got eaten by a shark. What a, what a way to go out, you know? Ooh, it's a tough game so far. But I mean, come on, it's a, it's an NES era shmup. It, and that doesn't even matter. It, it, it could be a shmup of today and it could be a very difficult thing. Shmups have never been simple. Well, except for Space Invaders, it's kind of simple. But that doesn't mean everybody's good at Space Invaders either. I'm trash at Space Invaders. It'd be nice if the little intro wasn't so lasted long. Oh, okay. The crab didn't revert to his crustacean ways that time, so I was safe. No! Don't eat my... Don't eat my comrades. Ah! There's a lot going on. And of course, as you can see, you can really only uh, shoot in one direction. 
which does not help things. It is an interesting game, though. You know, it's got a nice little aesthetic going on to it. Forgot to tell you who made it. This game was published by IREM and developed by a little team called Home Data, which I can tell you is one of the less, one of the least inspiring developer names I have ever heard in my life. But you know, you can't, you can't base it all on the developer name. Oh, there we go. We can save them. Now it's like... Ah, oh, there we go. I have to actually hit B to get them out of there. You gonna bless me with some fuel or something, man? Hey, they did. All right, so it's very, very important that you free the boys so that you get your fuel. One may suspect that that would be important, but uh, <laughs> you can't, you can't just uh, fall asleep at the wheel when you're trying to make the rescues, because you need that fuel, you know? I know, top, top shelf commentary, you gotta forgive me, I am incredibly tired. <laughs> You'll say, that's not an excuse. You're a professional, I tell you, I'm an amateur, actually. So, you know, whatever you want to say. Hey, that's fuel. Ooh, looks like we got some mines there, perhaps. Don't mind if I do. All right, fa phase two. Maybe left is the lives we have. I don't know. Ooh, we got that whole Eastern world vibe going on here with that music, that architecture. Does everybody live underwater in this world? It's water world, but successful. Cannot destroy the panda statue. Why would you want to, you may ask? Well, I guess I guess there's no real reason why you want to, but you know, that's what you do in these games. You you see what you can destroy. <laughs> Whether you want to destroy it or not. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, give me that. Oh, I got a spread shot, but I, I, I died. I lost it immediately, so uh, at least I know you can get power ups, you know. Yeah, the whole notion of having to rescue people. And then, you know, actually bring them to a place for them to get provisional food and shelter and all of that. I assume that that's what's going on there. Either that or you're a slaver and that's your slave vessel. But I don't know, that seems like a bit of a, uh, a, bit of a dark premise for uh, an NES game of this vintage. Yeah, 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 I got a few of them. One of them did not get lucky, but that's the way things go, you know. You you can't just expect the magic savior submarine to fix everybody's problems. Ooh, got me on the way back. Alright, that's fair. I have to drink water because I am so sore and parched and everything sucks. I feel it on my shoulders, feel it on my back, feel it on my feet. It wasn't just the entertainment center I was moving. I was helping with some other things around as well. And uh, having not really left my house since the pandemic started, I'm more out of shape than I've ever been. As it turns out, should have done my stretches. For what little would have helped. <laughs> Probably would have helped a lot, actually, compared to where I'm at right now, which is... A terrible, terrible place. <laughs> I got you, boys. I got all the boys. The lads have been saved. Just remember, focus on keeping yourself alive. Saving the boys is all well and good, but none of it will matter if you yourself. Look at that dude surfing. He gave us a one up. That's amazing. 
the uh, graphical fidelity of the guys that we're saving. Don't mind if I do. Ooh, look at these fast shots. Would prefer a spread shot, because you know I didn't really get the chance to utilize it last time, because I died. Oh yeah. Getting those little crab blocks is worth it, because that's a lot of points right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Save as many as you can. Ah, whoop, good. I thought I thought my my chance to get that fuel was gone, but that's not so. I like how they won't even take everybody at this point. It's like, yeah, we'll take one. The rest are gonna stay with you on your U-boat. This is actually the best rendition of a uh, Das Boot I've seen in video game form. Oh, sorry guys, not enough room on the submarine. Oh no! Got smashed. Yeah, you know, it happens. You gotta remember, the sharks can't really hurt me. They'll just devour anybody that I'm attempting to save. Oh gosh, Cat has not bothered with me all day and now that I'm recording, now he needs the attention. Of course, that's how it goes, you know? Oh, okay, so you can't hit the top of the, uh, prison cells. I assume that they're prisons. Yeah, don't hit them. Collide, you're dead. My own personal gaming update, because you know, this channel is really more like my pathetic blog than anything else. Uh, got to the point in Halo where the flood are all there. I made it to the library. I didn't start playing the library because I it was kind of late and let's be real. Everybody hates the library. I've said it before. It's like one of the worst levels in the game. Not one of. It is the worst level in the game. The Flood in general are definitely less fun to combat than the Covenant. And that, that ain't a hot take either. I think that's... That is known throughout all the lands. Wish it was like Sky Kid, right? That's just embarrassing. Where you could like kind of recover from death. That was a nice little thing that they had in Sky Kid. Didn't work all the time, but it did it make the game too easy. No! Okay, I'm, I was playing a fairly decent game up until this phase. When I just decided, hey, I'm, what if I suck instead? I would like for some quality entertainment, right? I hate how they loop back around. I forget about it all the time. All right, that's fine. Not nearly as good as last run. Not like last run was anything to uh, brag about. Ooh, look at how many bonus points you can get from shooting that thing. Cute. Oh, I'm gonna feel bad tomorrow. Wait up, almost murder me, crab. But then fail at the last second. It's an anti clutch right there. I believe they call that a choke. I'm hip, I'm with it. Thanks, how about a sweet power up? No! Yeah, once once they're coming from below you or above you, there's nothing you can do, you know? Just accept your fate, accept that you messed up by letting them get to that point in the first place. That's just it. It's not, it's not unfair. You had the power to not be put in that situation in the first place, and uh, you just decided, mm, how about I don't? How about I just mess it all up? But you gotta remember when you're playing video games, the majority of things that go wrong are things you could have prevented. And if you really couldn't have, well, you're probably playing a bad game. Not that I like to trash talk video games. It's, it's hardly no for them to say that. They're not all created. Don't worry, these are not... That was a bad run. These are not human lives we're talking about. You can say that kind of stuff about video games. Mm. One small moment. One small moment. Wow. So that thing can, in fact, kill you. Okay. That's what we call a reset. <laughs> you 
Don't let whatever this is kill you. Oh, hold on. Hold on. It turned into something. Do you have to hit it like a certain amount of times? I'm, I have to figure this out. Oh, it's a one. Uh -huh -huh -huh. Just got to make sure you don't hit it too many times because then you just revert it right back to what it was. Good to know, though. You can just immediately get another life right off the bat. That's some sneaky tactics. And look at this. We're already at like 8,000 points. Absolute insanity. Oh, got them all. That's some good eats. And I didn't die. Not yet. Oh, sorry. Gotta get the circuit, you know. Get those mo get those other extra lives. Stock yourself up on as many lives as you can and uh oh! watch as that happens. I didn't think it would, but it did. Yeah, we still got three whole lives left because we've been picking up so many extra lives. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing that the surfer shows up if you collect like your tenth breath. Maybe. I'm just spitballing, you know? It's always hard because one of them always veers off way far stage left. Puts you in a tricky little predicament. I'm sorry, friends. Can't save y'all. Yeah, please give me some fuel immediately. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, get the crab points. Oh, look at the points that we're reaching. This run is wacky so far. Just gotta not completely soil it. Easier said than done. Sorry guys, I saved you just to uh, forsake you. Oh, still got a couple of them though. Oh, you can bomb the mines, okay. And that's that's a thousand points per bomb, you know. That, that's worth doing. Oh, I am drenching. So we're not even on phase two, and already we've just got a staggering amount of points. Here we go. Oh, we got the spread shot. Which means I'm gonna die and lose it. That's just that's how these things go. Uh, don't tunnel vision the crab. I know it's good points, but dying is a terrible thing at this point. Ooh, thank you, thank you. Well, that guy apparently ascended to heaven. I tried to get him, but he was not interested. He was like, nah. Sorry, bro. I got it. I got gotcha. you. This is a fun game, man. This is like one of the better ones from this month, actually. Oh no! See, I knew, I knew death would come for me. These things are treacherous enemies. Ow! Oh! They're treacherous enemies. What was, what was I just saying? Oh gosh. It's always, you know, a risky game trying to play with crabs. So you never know when they're going to turn back. I mean, there's probably an exact timing so that you could know exactly when they're going to turn back. But, oh, put it this way, a man of my ability is going to have a harder time determining that than, say, a Schoon World Champion, which I'm not. 
However, I did like almost double our previous high score there. Not bad, but it just really fell apart at the end, you know? And planning my home data. What home data? Did you just, uh, did you just plan the game and then let someone else do everything else? I gotta get that. I'm sorry. That's that's non-negotiable. Yeah. Remember, don't get scared of the fish. They can't hurt you. They're just here looking for some survivors to snack upon. Let me get that uh, cursor out of the way. Don't know how long that's been there. Oops, how embarrassing. Go. Oh. To restart. I know. Wow, look at this try hard resetting like this. Yeah, you know what? That's right. I know I can do better. There we go. I think it's 10 hits, but very hard to count them out for a man of my small brain. A man of very little brain. Well, I guess I just despawned the crab's square, so no crab squares for me today. It's all right, we immediately got another one. It's no big deal. Don't don't stress out about things like crab squares, man. Ooh, well, that guy's doomed. No, oh, I can't get it. This is a cursed run so far. Things are just uh, going wrong at every turn, which means I'm going to somehow turn it around and it'll be like the highest score anybody's ever seen in Schoon that is specifically performed on August 29th, 2020. I know. Nice goalpost moving. Really. Thanks. I tried my best. Free more guys so that they can just be uh, doomed. It's all right. I'll free one more. Oh, there's there's the surfer boy. <sighs> He's got toys for all the boys, and girls at Christmas time because Santa's a surfer. How's that for a third wave ska concept song? Duke everything on these factories, can't you? Look at this. Absolute madness the entire time. Yeah, get out of here, turtles. I do not vibe with turtles in this game. Thank you for the splitter. It's a very, very good thing to have. Now let's see how I can, you know, completely eliminate all of my woo! I don't even know what I'm saying eliminate all of my possibilities That's, that doesn't really sound like the proper verbiage if you ask me Nobly excited when I accomplish something, you know. I'm aware. Little little gap of silence there. It's okay. Don't worry about it. It's only the end of my entire non-existent career. <laughs> Terrible. Terrible. I mean, we still got a staggering amount of lives left. But well, staggering compared to where you normally be in this game. It's all relative. Yes, thank you, thank you. Let me... Okay, well, I only got two of them. <laughs> two out of five. Maybe not the greatest percentage that you'd ever see. But, hey, any anything for more fuel. 60,000 already. See, not bad. We stand a very real shot of... 
We stand a very real shot of getting a juicy high score from this. Just don't don't do that thing where you die many many times in a very quick pattern. There we go. And look at that. That's well over the previous high score. I'm I'm really feeling the screen here, you know. This is one that I would absolutely love to own in an official capacity. Oh, that was that was kind of dirty though. Not gonna not gonna sugarcoat it at all. Ooh. Sorry, man. Sorry, man. You've been brought to heaven. Or at least whatever the Scoon version of heaven is. What? Well, I don't like these little things. Small enemies and shmups uh, are never a positive thing. You know, unless they're small enemies that also um, give you an extra life every time you touch them, but then they're not really enemies, are they? No, they're not. Way to just talk, talk a whole lot of nonsense, man. Saying no problem. It's, it's, it's my forte. Saying things that just don't mean anything. Please, nothing kill me while I'm doing this. I'm just a man trying to deposit my people. I'd like to make a deposit of humans. Oh, I'm terrible. At least, I, at least I was able to save a couple of them, you know, on my respawn. These are not my favorite enemies, ever. Okay, we can't destroy these shells, so this is just genuinely a rough time where you pretty much just gotta play the dodging game for the rest of your mortal life. Please, no shells while I'm doing this. Okay, thank you. Thank you for giving me something. We're almost on our way back to the spreader, if we don't die. Ooh, that was exceptionally spicy for me to try. I want to hit that 100k mark, you know? I'd love to make it happen. With, ooh, we get so many points from bombing these mines that I think it will happen. That was, that was a trap. Okay. Hey, 100,000 regardless. Very lovely. No crab cakes on the menu this time, but oh, and then we died. Game over. But we hit six figures. We're a wealthy, wealthy man as far as Scoon goes. This mic stand is a, uh, it's a very, very cheap thing. I'll put it that way. Oh, wait! There's a story? I didn't even try. Alright, hold on. I'll wait. So you can look at the story. By the way, that mermaid is completely naked. Spicy. So there we go. There's your first nudity in an NES game. That's why everyone's underwater. They've melted the ice caps. Oh, damn it, Neptunians. Bunch of jerks. Don't they know we are not aquatic animals? I guess they're invading, so they probably don't care, you know? Is that just another one up for no reason? I mean, I'm not going to be upset if it was, but... Like, what have I done to deserve it? If if it's just a gift, then I, I graciously accept. <clears throat> yeah, 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 yeah. I've already, already learned your tricks. And I refuse to be subjected to them yet again. Or at least I refuse to fall for them, I suppose, is 
a more appropriate statement. I'll be subjected to them as much as you want me to be, but uh, far be it from me to look like a fool. I could have sworn I was just going to die right there because I cursed it. Didn't jinx it. Cursed it. Far worse than a jinx. Why, I don't mind if I do. Look at all those boys. Yeah, sure, I can Oh, that was not worth it! And then I missed the surfer. No! Okay, well that was that was the worst possible way that that could have gone. It, admittedly. And of course, it's all on me. Obviously, it's not going to be your fault, the viewer. That would be a rather brazen thing for me to claim. Yeah, take some of these. Thank you. My back hurts from carrying all these men. I'm getting better at the game, though. With, you know, the occasional stupid death here and there, but come on. Even the Schoon Pros eventually have to die. That's awful. I <laughs> saved one of them. This ain't gonna be a high score run. I'm not trying to be uh, a negative Nancy, but realistically, what do you expect to happen here? All right, well that that could have been more elegant. Thank you. We still have a real good amount of extra lives, though. I think that left three is not accounting for the one that I just picked up. Oh, no, no. Not these enemies. I mean, yes, these enemies. I can't, I can't do anything about them showing up. It's phase two. It's just what happens here, you know? These freeloaders show up and take center stage, and you're like, I didn't invite you. Didn't even bring an hors d'oeuvre to share. Worst kinds of party guests. Okay. You know, I'm on edge. I'm on edge with these with these enemy types showing up. What, what else can you expect? Although, I'm feeling better about this run than I was when I died a couple times. <laughs> I was kind of doom and gloom then, but now I'm thinking, eh, maybe I can salvage something here. Just uh, demolish everything here, because it'll get you a lot of sweet pointer rooms. That is the official term, by the way, is pointer room. Don't shoot the messenger. I don't make the rules. Oh, every time! We got remarkably far without ever getting any spread shot, actually. Like, we just kind of had our base torpedoes this whole time. We've been making it work. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I mean, I already spend every day of my life as a nervous wreck, but this is, this is not helping me out here. Oh, sorry. One of you's always gonna get eaten, you know? Quite frankly, that's on you for uh, choosing a very poor place to swim to. That's right. I'm victim-blaming the boys in school. Oh, no! I forgot you can't hit those like that like that. It's on me. Feeling less great about this run? Oh, big dodges from me? That turtle came in like a bat out of hell. You saw him. At least I hope you did. I can't have been the only one. And there we go. Ruined 
It was still not bad. It was, it was not six figures good or anything like that. Pretty good. No. Very fun game so far. Allow me to uh, take a sip of my boomer monster and say, ah, these were the good old days. I don't think I got my uh, conspicuous extra life that time again. I still don't know why that showed up. I'm not a, at all upset about it showing up, of course, as you well might imagine. But I'm upset that I can't replicate it. There's a lot of little uh, doohickeys to bomb in these areas, too. So that's, that's always fun. Yeah, no, it's a it's a very satisfying gameplay loop. Like, again, it adds a little flash onto the typical shmup genre. Like, yeah, you gotta worry about shooting all the stuff coming at you, but you also gotta worry about uh, saving your fellow man. You know, it's a it's a it's a very uh, socially conscious game. Oh, that's no good. But when is it ever? That's your uh, incredibly deep philosophical statement of the day. I know. I baffle myself with my mysterious musings. Could have probably squeezed a little bit more alliteration into there. These turtles, man. I guess you just gotta memorize that, hey, this is turtle country, don't sit so close to the right side of the screen. Lest you get turtled. That happened to me once, actually. I was playing a game of StarCraft 2. Back when I thought I was capable of playing StarCraft 2 in a semi-competitive fashion. I, I wasn't. Uh, and a guy just turtled me. That was all he did. He just, uh... He forced a bunch of defenses, and by the time I finally uh, built up a force to attack him, which, problem number one, it, it was so late in the game to where I hadn't already attacked him. Rookie mistake. But uh, by the time I got to his base, I was like, well, this is just an impenetrable wall. I don't know how to get past this. And I was so frustrated that I just quit on him. And I thought, well, GG, I guess. Yes, thank you. Thank you mysterious barnacle thing that gives me uh, rosaries, I think. You will not get the best of me this time, whatever you things are. You probably will. I'm just talking a big t just talking a big game here. The turbo button ain't great for this game because you can only have like three shots on screen at a time, so it could actually potentially put you in a much worse position. Which I gotta wonder, is that like an intentional way that the developers nerf the turbo, or is it just kind of like a uh, technical quirk? I, I'm thinking it's probably more of a technical quirk. I don't think many people had turbo in mind. Unless you're playing the Turbo Graphics 16 where every controller had turbo functionality. I mean, come on, it's in the name. Way to just, way to just embrace the... Uh, I'm not going to say cheating. Uh, way to embrace the player's right to uh, basically make button mashing a thing of the past. Ooh. Oh, I thought they were all going to come swimming back to me. But they didn't! Bad timing. You got to make choices sometimes. I happen to make a bad choice. But whatever. I don't mind. Good choice, bad choice. Either way, I'm playing in Scoon. And playing in Scoon is a good time for all. Except for people who hate shmups. So we don't deserve good times anyway. I know. Uh, again. It's gonna... Emphasize. I'm no good at shmups. I just really, really like them. 
<laughs> yeah, could I please get like a lifeboat here to pick up some of these guys? I have plenty of people to drop off and uh, There we go about time Sometimes they show up pretty much immediately. Oh, you can turbo button them out of there though. Look at that Okay, that's that's very good to know actually Turbo button when you're in this kind of scenario is also good Ah, yeah. Basically, you mostly just don't want to turbo your main torpedoes, your forward torpedoes. Because that can, that can set you back if you miss a volley. That hurts. We actually still have a life left, too, though. That's, that's, that's not bad. Oh. <laughs> Come on. It's shell country, and I can't stand it. <laughs> the car is on fire, and there is no driver at the wheel. We've reached that point. Try to keep it together here. Try to get that 100k again. See if you can't beat your last high score. Your your PB, as it were. I suppose that's what they're called in the uh, world of true professional gaming. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> the way it hooked back around like that. Terrible. Terrible stuff. Good game, though, so you, you don't mind the terrible stuff. How many kids do you think had a sexual awakening over that mermaid? Unless those are supposed to be like shells, but they just didn't have enough pixels to make that apparent. <laughs> you got me. I'm just here for a good time. That's why I have games like Akari Warriors 2 on the horizon. No, 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 no. Ah, you touch the cross and you get a one up. I see. I thought Nintendo uh, didn't like religious references on the NES. Mm -hmm. Here I am, being the smug know it all. Everybody's favorite character. Good stuff. It's good stuff so far. It's good stuff. Yeah, just don't die. Just don't die. Dying kills people. Don't want to say something co too controversial, but you, you got to hear it sometimes. Don't let the truth be clouded. Go. Yeah, get get my surfer daddy there. Save a bunch of these. Drop a bunch of them. Yeah. Get the first power up. Okay. You're on the fast track to success here. Just don't don't mess it up, you know? It's very easy to mess it up. <sighs> See, I thought I was gonna get annihilated by turtles. Not this day. They tried, they tried, believe you me. The turtle agenda was real. But I destroyed all their dreams. And now we're in business. This you actually can turbo because you can only ever have one spreader on screen at a time anyway. So that's that's good to know. Which is also, you know, kind of dangerous, because you got to hope that you can actually clear everything that you're trying to clear. Now, what I want to know is, is there a power-up after the spreader? Hard to say. 
They say that scientists are still trying to figure it out. Very good. That was a good phase one. Is there any special extra life we can get on this little landscape here? That's what the panda is. The panda's a one-up. Okay, well, I don't know why I didn't think to just fly over it previously. That's on me, admittedly. I want, I want to live, though. I want to live. I want to make something good happen on this run because it's got a lot of potential. If I can dump a bunch of guys off at, at one time, they should give me another power-up and I can see if there's anything beyond the spread. Arrgh! Rip. Wow. We tried. We have a lot of lives left, though, so if we can recover, it is possible. And that we can see some high-octane stuff. Yeah, it looks like they won't, like, un... They won't take everybody unless you've, uh, you've actually got a full submarine, which is good. Because you can't just waste too much. But you can drop one off just to get your fuel. And the fuel is obviously important. Fuel drops, it's no good for you. You just have to... <laughs> Keep your little stash of boys in one piece. Don't die, is what I'm saying. It's incredibly easy to get complacent and say, yeah, but what if I do? What if I just decide dying is the best tactic at this point in time? Just gotta, just gotta not, not cave into idiocy like that, man. Oh, come on. I, I need a lifeboat now. No! <laughs> okay, or I can just die. Oh, I would have really preferred to collect them and get a power up and some fuel, though. That was a turning point. Not really, but, you know, it didn't feel good. Again, as one may expect. Okay, we only need one more guy to get us a power up. We're right on there. They're gonna show up. Just don't die to the shells. Okay. Okay. Woo -hoo -hoo. I'm sweating a little. I'm not gonna lie to you. Shell time is not my happy time. <sighs> Neither is tiny enemy time. However, we're still in a decent place. Ooh. Yeah, maybe it's not worth playing with crabs when we got so many uh, other things here issues. Would really love to not run out of uh, fuel right here. Like, I'd love a lifeboat if at all possible. Please, game. Or maybe it's, maybe it's just gonna say, screw yourself, you're not getting one. And yeah, I think that that's what it's gonna do. That's kind of filthy of you, honestly. I still got extra lives, though. You think, you think that that's gonna be the end? Cats knocking stuff down. You know how it goes. Ooh, what do we got here? Oh, it's the mermaid! Nope, okay. Don't touch the mermaid. 
Don't touch the mermaid. She uh she's a false goddess. Alright, that's a high score though. Easily. There we go, that's another one up. And there should be another hidden one in here somewhere. Well, you know, hidden in air quotes. Turns out they're actually kind of obvious to find. Just, yeah, don't get dunked by a crab. Okay, maybe not here. I don't know. Farthest we've gotten, though. How do I feel about these slug snail things? I don't. Not yet. They haven't been a See, that was unfortunate stuff right there. I don't know. Haven't seen these snails long enough. Oh, it's anglerfish. I was going to say long enough to compose an opinion on them. The anglerfish don't seem that bad, I say, but you know, I'm probably going to wind up hating them in just a few short seconds. Well, there's a lot of them. There's, there's that. Oh, they're very fast. They're very fast. That's that's no good. However, this is good. Okay. <laughs> Things are getting frantic, as you can tell. I don't have to tell you that it's frantic because you have eyes, and I assume they work. If you're watching a video that requires eyes, then yes. However, if you are one of my uh, deaf listeners. I almost said viewers, but boy, that would have been a, <laughs> kind of a dick move, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh, if you happen to be one of the uh, strong, the few, the beautiful deaf YouTube participants, well then, you're a, you're a strange fellow, but you steam a good hand. Still got a life left? You kidding me? This, this, this is a good run. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> um... Uh, you sure about this, Chief? Oh, it, oh, oh, no, no, no. How I learned to start worrying and scream when the anglerfish appear. Okay. Good stuff here. That's one power-up. I still haven't quite figured out what the value of this is. I think maybe it's piercing shots. It's a power-up, so it's gotta be good, right? Couldn't possibly be a Fester's Quest kind of situation where the power-up is bad. Oh, I can't wait for Fester's Quest. That'll be, you know, just some top-shelf entertainment. Oh! Alright, the shrimp got me. Fair and square. I'm not just like insulting them either. That's I, I, I believe that's what those are. They look like it at least. Why? Why is it that the Neptunians just look like regular, normal, everyday fish? These things take multiple hits. You gotta be kidding me. Death to shrimp. You get 200 points for it at least, but gosh, it's really not worth dealing with. Take one hit if you bomb. So, okay, there's that. We, we do have a way out with them. Bless you, crab, for not killing me. Not just respawning at the most inopportune moment. Get a new phase and an extra life. Oh, I just get a bad guy. You gotta survive this anglerfish gauntlet, I presume. It's sad. Couldn't hit 200. 200k, but. Hey, that was that was still a pretty good run, I feel, for having uh, 
literally no experience with this game outside of what you've witnessed. Good stuff. Good, good stuff. Thank you for blessing me with uh, an extra life, which I won't have to really use because this episode's almost over. That's how good that last run run was. It carried us to nearly the end of the episode. The only issue with this game, and if you want to own it, I think it's a little expensive. Not like ungodly expensive like some NES games are, but you know, just, just enough to make you go, mm, that's a little expensive. Look at that. It's a great start to a run. Shame I won't be able to see it through. You could say, oh, well, you could just make it longer. I'm like, no, no, no. Kills the spirit of the show. It's got to be 60 minutes. With the occasional break for me to uh, take a sip of water. Alright, the run has lost its... It, it has lost its legs. It's no longer a promising run. Now it's the worst run you've ever seen. It's alright. Kill the hype so there's no hard feelings when you don't see how it ends. That's the tactic. One of my uh, content creators... Uh, toolbox things. What's up, girl? I am almost done. Nice. I'll be like four minutes. Got dinner on the way. How hogged up is that? Take the time to enjoy a nice whatever it is we're eating. Uh... Then let the rest of the world just be a beautiful thing. At least I hope so. Labor Day's around the corner. I hope that you work a job that blesses you with uh, with an authentic extra day off. You deserve it. Even if you're a lazy coward who does nothing at your job. <laughs> Still deserve it. If you're in the working class, good enough for me. Now let me red pill you in the ways of socialism. <laughs> you didn't sign up for that. The crab. He guarded the necklace with his life. And we just picked it up. You know. That's how it works. No, yes, I didn't just get, uh, like, an entertainment center today. I also got, you know, a, uh, I don't, I maybe mentioned this at the start and not even <laughs> realized that now, but I got a big Hulkin' CRT TV, too. Like, it is, it is good size for a CRT, which, of course, if you're into retro gaming, CRTs, that's the stuff. So now I got a small CRT for everything, uh, that came out before 1995, the big one for everything post, and then the HD for everything modern. And it is a beautiful, beautiful setup. Unlike whatever that was. That was not beautiful at all. At least we're not chaining deaths as badly as we were earlier in the video. It's a game that I feel... Okay. That's more cats. Just doing whatever they want to do. If that didn't come through, well then, good. And if it did, well, you just heard a giant crash of... Whatever. <laughs> That's all right. Oh, dying is not all right. It took my eyes away from the screen for just a brief moment. And died as a result. I had to see if it was time yet, because it's, it's it's creeping up real soon. But these shmups, you know, it's incredibly hard to uh, time properly, because you don't want to look away, because you want to do well. But then at the same time, when I know ah, when I know it's almost the end, then I don't. I'm not really so concerned with playing super. Well. It's a low stress situation. You're like, it's time to coast, baby. But yeah, this this game is really wonderful. Actually, I I could like vaguely recall seeing some footage of it, but I couldn't quite remember what it was all about. And, 
yeah, now that I've had a chance to play it, uh, I'm not necessarily going to say 10 out of 10, uh, greatest game in the world, but it, it's very high tier compared to everything else that's come out this month, which has been a mix. You know, we got Load Runner, that was a awesome little surprise. We got some not so great things, you know, we, we just have to play through Ring King. Deadly Towers, but the. It's all worth it for when you get a scoon. But the month ain't over yet. Like I said, September 87 was absolutely packed to the brim with stuff. Ah! Uh, oh, wow! I just played, like, way too much of that. That's, like, 50-some seconds off. That's how good of a game it was, you know? I didn't even notice. I didn't even notice. Scoon. Wonderful. Would buy. Fantastic addition to your NES collection, I would say. Got to make sure to rank that one little high on my scratch paper that I've got here. Yes, I've been kind of ranking them so at the end of every release cycle I can tell you what the best was and what the worst was. Yeah, you know. Anyway, that's what we got here. Uh, tomorrow, well, you know, on the list of stadium events, but as I've said, stadium events is like a $40,000 game, and I don't have a power pad anyway, and you can't really emulate a power pad. So, uh, yeah, we're going to ignore stadium events, and we're going to skip straight to Star Voyager. It's a, an outer space uh, first-person shooter sim. At least as much of a sim as you can get on the NES. So that could either be very interesting or incredibly tiring so i guess we'll find out which anyway as always thank you for watching this goofy show i hope to see you soon